up guys you already know this your girl you already know i'm late i'm late i'm late i'm late i'm late, I'm late. make sure y'all follow me on my youtube channel hey guys what to do what to do what to do this your girl i'm back today with a video and what you see here is everything that you're going to need for this video so we're doing some luggage name tags and it comes with the colorful different color tab a passport cover and these are the images that i made out of ai and also we're going to make a birthday shirt made out of bling 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 so a birthday shirt it says birthday queen and these are some um bling hearts that i have not had some butterflies and this is an image that i have made before it's for a cup it's the um grints tumbler and i just added the um the female grints to it and then sorry for the arm um, being in the way and then that's it so we're gonna do the shirt first and make sure you always lint roll your shirt always lint roll it people only think you need to lint roll it when you're doing sublimation no you need to lint roll it when you're doing dtf um regular htv vinyl everything and i'm doing a well i started off doing the, the taco method if y'all don't know what the taco method is is when you fold your design into half and then you let it spread out so i'm just make sure it's measuring up and basically that's it then i'm covering it with some parchment paper and then i pressed it at i believe 300 330 for like 30 minutes not 30 minutes 30 seconds i should say and look how it came out and then so i so i said like i told you i had some hearts and then i also had a butterfly so i figured i only had two butterflies so i decided to go over with the heart so um i cut out the hearts and i'm just cutting them out and what you see me is just trying to place and find out where i want to put them at to make it look good because it's, it's all about branding too so that's what you see me doing and then i'm going to cover it up with the parchment paper once i get them in the correct place where i want them to be i use a total of i believe i used a total of five two at the top and three toward the bottom because actually one was in the middle then i covered it once i got them in place where i wanted them i covered it back up with some parchment paper and i pressed it the same press for a total of 30 minutes 30 yeah 30 to 35 minutes i don't i can't remember the exact because i am doing a voiceover because of the noise that be in the back and then like i said i pressed it for that and here we go tell me that shirt is not nice and everything is purchased off of amazon not the shirts but the design the birthday queen bling i got it off of amazon and also the thing so everything that you say came off amazon these are some blanks that I got off of Amazon. These are luggage tags, but you see me is pulling the film. They always have like a film that protects the images. And these images that I, you see me right here, this particular one, I actually downloaded off of Etsy. But the other um, design, I made it myself in um, bling with the AI. So I actually pressed these for... They're double-sided. I pressed it for 60 seconds for like, no, 40 minutes for like 60 seconds. 40 minutes for 400 degrees. And that's, it says, um, yeah, we catch flights. So now I'm doing the, um, tumbler. So in the mix of me waiting for the other one to print out. So I went on and, um, taped my, um, Take up my tumbler and do my tumbler. Guys, always remember, measure your own tumblers. Don't go by what somebody else sizes because they all different sizes. Even I could do two tumblers back to back and they both will not be the same size. I guarantee you that. So this is my method on how I take my tumblers, how I get a great um, turnout on my tumblers. So if you really want to know, go back to some of my previous videos where I walked you step to step on how I actually um measure my tumbler tape and tape my tumbler and also press it so i also i also have a video coming up where i'm going to do a comparison of 
pressing it in the tumbler auto easy press i'm loving this tumbler guys i'm loving it at first i was kind of iffy about it but i love it uh when i say i love it i love it so um i'm gonna do a, a video sh comparing how i do my tumbler in this the auto easy press and how i do my tumbler using the supple i mean using the cricket mug press because that's kind of how because they are not made for tumbler they're only made for mug but most people are able we learned how to finesse it and do our tumblers in it so now i'm just putting in the butcher paper and as like i said for those that don't know i have a previous video step by step on how i did everything so i'm just pinning it and i'm just showing you while it's heating up and if i haven't told you before the machine has a memory so once you turn it on it remembers like the last setting that you did so you really don't have to bother with resetting it unless you're doing a different thing and so far i i only been doing stainless steel stuff so it has different temperature time and temperature for stainless steel glass and things like that so like i said i'm just waiting for it to heat up and i'm actually going back with my um tumbler just trying to get it you know you gotta have it right so then like i said you press it and i'm doing it even though you really doesn't have to do a double press but because i feel like it's still a tiny tiny slat op opening i'll go ahead and do a 360 and then still do a double press it's not gonna hurt it so they recommend you to press the timing for like 140 seconds so i do 70 and 70 so i press it on 70 and then when it stops i do a 360 and I re and then I press it for the uh, main the seventy, so that's what I'm saying. So it's still the same thing, but this way uh, it's covered just to make sure that the whole tumbler has been pressed. And you can see the ink in it. So now I'm just going to unplug it and move everything to the side. It's it cooled off, and now we just unwrapping it. And this is the best part of it all. And see how beautiful it came out. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. So, yes, guys, y'all let me know what's your thing. Leave your comments down below. So, now we're doing the passport cover. And we're going to do the second key, um, I'm about to say keychain, the second luggage tag. So, and the setting is still the same. I did it 40, um, no, it was, I said 40, I should have said 45 seconds for 400 degrees so yes and i think it came out beautiful look at that look at that so yeah and like i said the, the luggage is double is double-sided so i need y'all to drop down and come let, and let me know what y'all think honest my honest opinion every like i said i got these off of amazon but i will say I have to do press another um passport and press some more luggage tags because I'm I'm not too too happy with it. I feel like they could have been better. Like it's some when you buy certain things from certain places, you have to be careful. Cuz even though it says sublimation, a lot of times it is sublimation, but the quality is poor. It's not good quality. And that's what I get off of these tags. So like I said, I have to do.